Hey there folks, today I'm going to be showing you how to dismantle your pneumatic drill so that you can clean and lubricate the internal workings of it. Now this will help keep it running at optimum performance and if you have reduced power this can help restore it back to proper power. So let's go ahead and get everything ready and take it apart. Alright, so first we remove the air fitting off the end. Then we remove the housing with the screen filter in it. So this is another thing to check. As you can see, it is clear, but often debris will cause it to have low power, but we're good on that. So on to the next step, we need to take this and put it into a vise, or you can use a large wrench, it's up to you. You'll see there's two flat spots on here, and we can use that to twist this chuck assembly free from the pistol grip. All right, so I find it easiest to put the flat spots into the vise, clamp it, and then you can twist it. Now just be careful when you're taking this apart, go nice and slow because the parts may fall out. You want to make sure you see which way they go. So we have a washer. And we have our drive assembly there. You can see it's quite caked up. We're going to clean all that out. Remove our pin here. This just goes into the back. And you can see the back end is also very dirty as well. The bearing comes off the front. The sleeve comes off. And these veins, they are supposed to slide in and out of here very easily. They should be actually dropping out of here. And I'll show you what I mean by that. I will take a pick and get those out. All right, so these veins, as you can see, they move out of the cylinder. These ones are corroded a little bit. Looks like there was some moisture in there. So I'll take all five of them out. Sometimes there's six, I believe. This one just has five. We'll clean everything up, get it back together and lubricate it. Now onto the chuck assembly. All right, so there appears to be signs of oil, which is a good sign, but I like to put grease there instead of oil. So we're gonna take all three gears and the ring gear out and again, clean it and lubricate it properly. All right, so we're gonna grab our bucket and hit it with parts cleaner and get it all back together. All right, this just has some spray nine parts cleaner in it. And we're just gonna saturate it and then scrub it all down. All right, so we'll clean the inside of the pistol grip there. And blow it out. All right, so first we're going to assemble the cylinder and then put it in. So again, very generous with oil on everything. Now each one of these housings for the veins will receive oil. And that goes in. We put our bearing back on. We line up the two holes at the top. So one there and the other one has to be at the top. And that is where our pin goes. A generous amount of oil. Just remember, if you do put too much oil in, it will just spray out when you activate the unit. If it doesn't go in all the way, you can hit it from behind and this should drop down. 
So your gear right here should be flush with this piece. Then your washer. All right, so for the chuck assembly and all the gears in that, we're just going to use some multi-purpose grease. I'm gonna grab some on our finger there and we're gonna cake it in there. Not too much though. A little bit on the ring gear here. We put each of the three small gears in. Just gonna do another quick dab there of grease. And we're good to go screw this back on. We'll just clean this up, get it in the vise, tighten it, and get the fittings back on. All right, so put the flats into your vise and tighten it up. Now for the fittings. All right, so our screen housing goes in. Followed by our air fitting, we're gonna put a little Teflon tape on there actually. All right, so that's all there is to this one, folks. Hopefully this video will help you keep your drill working at optimum performance like the day that you bought it. So thanks for watching, and please don't forget to like and subscribe.